Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jerry and I am one frugal introvert. On this channel, I am learning all about personal finances, including budgeting, sinking funds, cash stuffing, diversifying my income, and I'm on a journey to getting out of debt. So if you're interested in learning along with me and follow me on this debt-free journey, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So happy Saturday, everyone. Today is Saturday, October 9th. I am going to be going over my budget for last week, the 1st through the 8th, and then my new budget for the 9th through the 15th. So if you are interested in seeing me go over my weekly budget, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start with my bills for last week. So um, I did kind of go over this a little bit in last week's video already, but I'll go over it again. So I did budget $712.25 total for my bills, which included rent, Verizon and internet and I only spent $708.97 and that was because my rent was a little bit less than what I initially budgeted. Now for my variable expenses, I did budget $175 and only spent $123.51 so I was actually really under budget. And that was because um, I initially budgeted $40 for groceries and I didn't have to spend a penny on groceries for this week because my boyfriend, he actually bought groceries. So um, for gas, I budgeted 35 and only spent 34.51. Personal, I budgeted 25 and only spent 20. Miscellaneous, I budgeted 40 and only spent 37. And then home, I budgeted 35 and only spent 32. Now for my savings slash investments, I did um, initially budget $32 to go into Robinhood for the investing challenge that Mommy Trader here on YouTube created, the $1 a day savings challenge. I did turn it into a $4 a day savings challenge for me. So I did modify it a little bit, but I will link her video down in the, in the description box below if you are interested in checking that out and participating in this $1 a day investing challenge. So I did deposit the $32 like I initially said I was going to into Apple and VTI. And then I was going to buy $26.50 worth of crypto in my Binance account. But something, I don't know what's going on with Binance. I've been trying to link my debit card to Binance and deposit money into the account so that I can buy the crypto. But every time I try to do it, it just keeps saying that the deposit failed. So. I don't know what's going on with it. I did um, put in a, um, a request for them to go in and investigate it. So I wasn't able to actually um, deposit the $26.50 into my Binance account. So I budgeted $58.50 and I only spent the $32 to go into Robinhood. Lastly, for my sinking funds, um, I did stuff the total that I budgeted. So I budgeted 145 and I actually did stuff the 145 um, amongst my challenge. Amazon Prime, Vacation, Crystals, Jewelry, and Car Maintenance. So if you did not see that video, I will link it above in the cards so that you can go back and watch it. So going back up here to my income, my, in my expenses, I did get $2,226.50 for my monthly paycheck. My expenses ended up being $1,009.48. So that left me with a balance of $1,217.02. So this is my new budget sheet over here for October 9th through October 15th. So before I ended up calculating um, my actual expenses and everything for the last sheet, I went ahead and did this sheet. So um, on this sheet, I did mention that I was left over with $1,217.02. Over here, I thought I was gonna have $1,135.75 left over. So um, in the actual, I'm gonna write down the other amount. So the $1,217.02. So for this week, I only have two bills, Netflix for $15.11 and Bluehost for $5.44. So my total bills are only $20.55 for this week. Variable expenses, not much. Groceries, as usual, I'm gonna budget $40. And then miscellaneous, I'm gonna budget $20, so $60 total. I'm not putting anything towards debt for this week. 
And then my savings slash investing, I'm going to put $40 into my savings account. I'm gonna do the $32 for Robinhood. And then I'm actually going to add the $26.50 that I was going to invest in crypto from last week. I'm gonna add that to the $26.50 that I'm going to invest for this week. So I'm gonna invest $53 total. So that's gonna give me $125 total for my savings and investments. And then lastly, for my sinking funds, I am going to stuff $75 into my savings challenge, $90 into Geico, $20 into medical, 20 into YouTube, 20 into gifts, and 35 into clothes. So that gives me a total of $260. So when I add all of that up, I do get that $465.55. And so I'm hoping to have two seven, excuse me, six seventy twenty left over. And so I just wanted to kind of show this. Um, this is the $1 a day investing challenge that I referred to. So I did go ahead and color in all of these days that I did um, invest. So I know you're looking at a masterpiece right now. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I did want to go ahead and show that. And so next week I'll have October 9th through the 15th color in. So that is pretty much it for this video. I didn't really have too much to discuss. Um, oh, what I do want to mention is my no spend days. So this is my little calendar here. So um, one of my goals is to have 10 no spend days for this month. And so I have one, two, three, four no spend days already just for the first week of October. So I'm pretty excited about that. Like I'm almost halfway there. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. I hope you guys have a great day and until next time, peace.